copyright a reaction channel i will never ever strike down a compilation of me because i don't care oh my god my heart stopped and then restarted good made me feel something i'm ready to take on this video what am i talking about oh yeah that big lass all right lads welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is tom harlock and i do not have an intro but I did have an apple for breakfast, and you know what they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> well in that case, someone get this gal a whole entire orchid because her knees are screaming for inpatient treatment. This is Amberlyn Reed, 29 years old and with the lung capacity of a bedbound pensioner. Amberlyn is a YouTuber from America. Obviously, the weight loss community on YouTube has started to swell recently with channels such as Obese to Beast inspiring a new wave of vloggers to pick up the camera and document their journey. Not trying to be rude, but I'm pretty sure I was on YouTube before Obese to Beast. Still love him. So already Tom has his um, facts wrong. And one of the biggest in every sense is Amberlynn Reed. Hi. That's me. It sure is, sweetheart. I do want to say, I don't judge people. You're unsubscribing? I do, I do want to say, I don't judge people based on their appearance, but I do want to say his teeth are gorgeous. Berlin first came on my radar around a month ago when I opened the YouTube app and on my homepage was a video titled, Amberlynn Reed pronouncing words wrong for two and a half minutes. And all I can say is, thank God for the YouTube algorithm. What is it called? Yeah, Camino. Stop pausing every two seconds. I'll pause every one second. You know, usually reaction channels do the same thing. So if you don't want to watch, I want to react to what I want to react to. You know, yeah, Camino. And from this moment, I was hooked. I can't get enough of Amberlynn Reed, if I'm honest. Can't eat, can't breathe, can't sleep, can't enjoy music or books or movies because I feel like every moment is wasted Amberlynn Reed time. I feel like I'm studying for a PhD in Amberlynn theology and I can't cram in enough information. So for today's video, in an effort to exercise all the Amberlynn knowledge I've got inside of my brain, I I I'm dumping it on you. I'm really sorry, but I need to speak about this girl so I can just move on with my life. Honestly and truly, it's like- That's his way of saying, okay, let me speak on this girl so I can make some money real quick. Like a parasite. When I first came across Amber- stumbled across Amberlynn Reed, promise you there was absolutely no coming involved. When I first stumbled across Amberlynn Reed, I thought she was just a simple Kirby girl from the middle of Incestionapolis, Kansas, America who talked bad and ate badder. So I felt kind of mean making so many- As sad as it is, that's literally me. I talk bad and I eat badder. I mean, that's literally the moral of the story. Everything else, people just create these other stories ab about my life. Badder's not even a fucking word. I know, badder's not a word. I'm just saying it because he did. Um, I'm sure he didn't get hate for it. <laughs> I would have. Um, but people create these other like stories to my life and I really feel like that's the reason why I have so much viewing. So it's almost like I should be saying thank you to the hater nation, you know? Any jokes about her. But the more I fell down the rabbit hole, and trust me, it's a massive gaping rabbit hole, the more I was a little bit concerned, if I'm honest, a quick Google video search returns over 3 million results for Anne Boleyn Reed. That's three times the amount of Tyler Oakley, three times the amount of Tyler Mongoose, and if I'm honest, she has over 30 times the amount of results as me, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Okay, I did not know that. <laughs> but 
I mean, doesn't everyone? In fact, there's a whole entire YouTube community dedicated to analyzing, critiquing, and debunking every single one of Anne Boleyn's uploads. Some of these channels have hundreds of thousands of subscribers and millions of- Who's that? I've never seen that before. ...of views. Are we really bringing the weight loss doctor up again? Because, girl, he told you, he told you how to lose weight and you tried for 12 hours, if that. Why is this girl so interested? Why are people talking about her so <gasps> channel? I love see I look so much bigger here. <gasps> I love that. As well as gravity, Anne Boleyn has been at the center of quite a few controversies over the years. And today we're going to delve into a couple of them. So sit back, relax, and grab a snack. And Anne Boleyn, if you're watching this, I said snack, not a whole entire rotisserie chicken. <laughs> There's another fat shaming um, thing and everyone thinks it's so fucking funny, but if I ever said something like that, um, I'd be rude, I'd be a bitch, I'd be et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so about this rotisserie chicken, I love that we are actually talking about this right now. In the title, I said that I'm eating a whole rotisserie chicken. Did you guys not see that I only ate a little bit of the side and I ate a leg? That's all I ate. I did this for views for clickbait and everyone's like oh my gosh you ate the whole chicken and i'm like okay no but bye i'm trying to give you guys a good view Anne Boleyn first uploaded to our channel in november of 2013 22 years old fresh faced bubbly <laughs> Wow. She first uploaded a video titled Nervous and Weight Loss and Awkward. In this first video, 360 pound Anne Boleyn discussed her plans to use her channel as a way of documenting her weight loss journey and the audience on YouTube as a way of keeping her accountable. I've been on a weight loss, weight loss journey for a very, very long time now. I think making these YouTube videos, it might make me accountable. I'm not really doing this for other people, I'm more so doing it for myself. In the first months of her channel, Anne Boleyn was doing pretty well. She was uploading weekly weigh-in videos, healthy tips, she was even going to the bloody gym. I have never done this great on the elliptical. I went 1.534 miles, so that's a mile and a half and I did it for 27 minutes. Knowing what I know about Amber now, this is shocking. The fact that she's even on a treadmill, the fact that she can even step up onto the treadmill, mind blown. I can step onto a treadmill now. Like, if you wanna make videos about these, they should at least be accurate. You know, I like that he took the time to make this video. The editing is great. But it's like, say things that are like real and not, not real. Like literally at my heaviest, I joined a gym, went on an elliptical, went on a treadmill, went on an um, exercising bike. I only went three times, but I was over it. I could go on it. So, and I'm a lot lighter now and a lot more like I have my stamina better so you guys wanted me to react to this so am i just not doing it right am i supposed to just be saying yeah you're right you're right so what kind of reaction do you guys want from me i'm just genuinely curious because i can totally turn this off i'm just wondering what exactly you guys want okay i'm doing it right okay Okay, so I weighed in at 357.2. Anne Boleyn first started her channel in Virginia, visiting her girlfriend Crystal after the breakdown of a previous relationship in Oklahoma. Whilst visiting Crystal and her parents, Anne Boleyn received a call from her mum, saying, and I quote, Hi Anne Boleyn, love, it's your mum. Just a heads up, you can't come back. 57.2 Wait, what? Point two. first started her channel in Virginia, visiting her girlfriend Crystal after the breakdown of a previous relationship in Oklahoma. Whilst vi What? He has his facts wrong. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, so... He what? Ah, this is why people shouldn't make these videos. Okay, so he just said that I, ha I was in a relationship in Oklahoma but I was visiting Crystal and I got a call from my mom that said, don't move back. Okay. 
No. <laughs> I was living in Oklahoma. I went to Arizona to visit my girlfriend. That's when I got the phone call that my grandma said I can't live with her anymore. The reason why is a whole reason that's literally like, he's not kidding. He's literally talking about my life story. <laughs> so I ended up being in an abusive relationship in Arizona and Crystal and I had a really good friend. Yeah. So then me and my girlfriend kind of got into an open relationship. Crystal and I had parents or something. Nothing about Arizona was right for me. More. So I ended up actually moving in with Crystal. So it's a joke. Okay, we'll listen to it again. I have never done this great on the elliptical. I went 1.534 miles. So that's a mile and a half. And I did it for 27 minutes. Knowing what I know about Amber now, this is shocking. The fact that she's even on a treadmill, the fact that she can even step up onto the treadmill, mind blown, reality shaken. Where's my little spinner totem? Because I feel like I'm in Inception. Where's Ellen Page? Ellen? Okay, so I weighed in at 357.2. Amber Lynn first started her channel in Virginia, visiting her girlfriend Crystal after the breakdown of a previous relationship in Oklahoma. Whilst visiting Crystal and her parents, Amber Lynn received a call from her mum, saying, and I quote, Hi Amber Lynn, love, it's your mum. Just a heads up, you can't come back to the family home. Yeah, I know it's a problem, but your grandma thinks you're an absolute nightmare. You're just gonna have to stay down there with Crystal and her parents or something, aren't you? <laughs> All right, take care, bye. <laughs> and so she did. Okay, so he wasn't joking because that is the story, which is accurate regarding what my mom said about my grandma. So he wasn't joking. Um, but he has his facts wrong, um, like completely. So I feel like he needs to like have his facts right. No, he wasn't right. <laughs> I just explained the story. Okay, awkward. I'm living with Sol and her parents and I'm really happy. Crystal's parents helpfully encouraged Amber to lose weight by dropping small hints. Or perhaps you should use a calorie controlled diet. You're massive, so I've bought you some weighing scales. You can track your progress. And this is where Amberlynn decided to pick up the camera. Okay, so that's also wrong. Um, me and Crystal wanted to lose weight. Her parents had nothing to do with it. Um, me and Crystal wanted to go on a weight loss journey. She wasn't, like, in my opinion, like, her weight was my goal weight, you know? And so we wanted to go on a weight loss journey together, and that's when her mom, when her mom... When Crystal asked her mom and her dad, hey, can you know, they already had a scale, but it didn't work for me. So got a new scale. And what Crystal's parents would do is because I would buy my own food, um, but they would give us the money for the food. And um, it's just, I think the reason why I was so successful then is because I was so happy. Like I was so freaking happy there. And I don't know. It was just like, I had no reason to overeat all the time or binge all the time. It's just, I was happy. And so, yeah, it was Crystal and I, and I had so much support from her parents. I love them dearly still to this day. Um, but yeah, it wasn't them who made me lose weight. I think that's where a lot of people are super confused and that's okay because I mean, not everyone knows the whole story. They just believe what they see online. Um, he's being sarcastic. So you think that this whole video is just him being sarcastic and joking? If that's the case, then I'm not going to watch it. Because <laughs> that's pointless. Like, what am I supposed to be reacting to? I'm, like, confused. Because everyone keeps saying um, that he's just joking and being sarcastic. So I don't know what to take seriously then. Like, what's the point of this video? Just wondering. I've got my belly out watching this. <laughs> I love that. You are an entertainer. Yeah. And document her journey. Since I've been here, I've finally been urged to get healthy. I've been losing weight and I've been doing it because of them. Seeing as this guy was just dropped on her doorstep, essentially, Crystal's parents did a pretty good job at supplying for her. According to Amberlynn's old Tumblr blog that I found whilst doing research, 
Crystal's parents gave Anne Boleyn an allowance. Allegedly. You're not suing me today, love. Sort of a thousand, one thousand five hundred dollars a month. For existed, apparently. Weight loss channels are all about going from A to B and bringing your subscribers along for the journey. This way they can celebrate your wins and they can pick you up if you fall off the horse. Poor horse's spine if you ask me. And for the first 18 months of Anne Boleyn's channel, she was doing pretty well. You know, it, it just, it happens. I'm, like I say all the time, I'm not a perfect person. I don't diet perfectly or change my lifestyle perfectly. But I mean, it's better to confess and acknowledge than to think that, you know, I'm not doing anything wrong. I am down. Da, da, da. I weighed in at 362.0. In a video titled Dear Anne Boleyn, I kind of like this girl. She's self-aware, she admits that she doesn't know everything and that she needs help, and she's willing to listen to critiques and comments from her audience. Dear Anne Boleyn, I want to talk to you for a minute. I know you want to be healthy, and you want it so bad that it eats you up and down. This is so cringe, because I used to be so shy, like, on camera, and this was the game room and Crystal's dad, his computer was in this hallway, which was right next to this room. So I was always super quiet. So I sound like a completely different person because I was so freaking shy, nervous. I was trying to be quiet. I didn't want them to hear me. Died. But why can't you do it? With the support of Crystal's parents, it seemed like having a familial environment provided Anne Boleyn with the chance to focus on her surroundings less and her weight loss more. My girlfriend's mom isn't cooking tonight because she has an appointment, so I'm making this for my girlfriend and I. Currently cooking. We're also going to have Caesar salad. However, it was around this time that our audience started to notice there was a cycle in regards to Anne Boleyn's weight loss. I'm gonna start fresh tomorrow, it's a new day. I really hope I can do this. At the beginning of a weight loss cycle, Anne Boleyn finds a new strategy which she gets very invested in. Apparently she does tons of research. She gets very excited about the idea of losing weight and the idea of being successful. However, when push comes to shove and she has to put down that fork, she, well, she realizes this is a bit difficult really, isn't it? So she fails. She comes onto YouTube, she lets her audience know, it's all your fault. You shouldn't have encouraged me to do something I knew nothing about. I didn't even want to do this in the first place. Didn't think it would be successful for me anyway. I plan to only eat 1,700 calories for this week, every day, besides Thanksgiving, and I already messed up. And today's only the first day. One of the earlier examples of this is in 2014 when Anne Boleyn decided to do 27 days of weigh-ins, with the idea being that for 27 days in a row, she would weigh herself and upload the evidence to YouTube. But it came as no surprise to anybody that by day 11, Anne Boleyn decided to throw in the big, giant, massive towel. Daily weigh-ins do mess with the brain, whether we think so. My whole thing is like, he did some, like, he had to watch a lot of my videos like almost all of them that's either like kind of a like whoa or kind of like whoa like the bad whoa i don't know what to think about it <laughs> or not um so I think I'm gonna stop with the daily weigh-in videos. Anne Boleyn uploaded a video titled, I'm sorry, but I'm done, where she blamed her YouTube audience for stressing her out. So she decided to dip and leave YouTube behind. I'm just done. Um, that's all I can say is I'm done. I do not know how famous YouTubers can handle the hate. Me neither, darling, but I survived somehow. I don't wanna be on YouTube anymore. I am literally, just tired of it, you guys. But don't worry too much, because the next day, she was back. This is quite embarrassing. Um, I chose the haters over the lovers. I don't want to say goodbye to YouTube. I don't. I don't at all. And this is where I feel like Anne Boleyn went wrong, because if she stayed off YouTube... Dude, it this is not good for your mental health. You should stop. I'm glad I turned around to see that, because I feel like you're right. Because a lot of a lot of times these videos are a lot of like opinions 
more so than like true facts. <sighs> I don't know. Like what else does he talk about? Let me see. Scooters. <laughs> Oh, ew, no. Mm -mm, not going through that again. Does he put in here have lost hella away at the end? No, because he doesn't want it to be a good story at the end. Of course not. I'm not going to watch this anymore because it's stupid. Like, no offense. No tea, no shade. Like, good job. Like, But I could see the people who actually care about me. I could see the people who actually care about me. Oh, Amy's Life Journey just uploaded a video, you guys. Yay! It's called Me Makeup and Amazon. And actually, no, I'm not mad. I'm actually kind of like flattered. To be honest. <laughs> I'm mad because I actually watched them all and unsubscribed. I unlocked his videos. Oh, babe, that's sad. Okay, that actually made me really sad. So you were a fan of his? Okay, so Becky just said that she's upset because she used to be a fan of him. Um, so she just went and unsubscribed. She went and unliked all his videos. That's actually really sad. <laughs> that makes me really sad. I'm sorry, babe. I mean, that probably is a horrible feeling. I've had a couple times, like, someone that I looked up to, like, a lot on YouTube. They joined the hater nation because it's fun. It is sad. It is hard to um, deal with for sure. Um, yeah. Oh, God, that was a waste of time. Actually, no, it wasn't. I had a lot of belly laughs out of that. I do truly want to say, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I am, I do apologize if you feel a certain type of way. I'm not going to apologize for the words I said. I'm going to apologize if you felt a certain type of way. And if you feel like watching this video is going to send you on a downward spiral, then I wouldn't want you to watch it. But if you watched, if you watched for like 10 more seconds, you would see that I am encouraging. I am disappointed in who you are now because it's not who you were in the beginning. Absolutely nothing does my head in more than when someone is inconsiderate due to their laziness. If you can get an item from a shelf, yeah, you can put your big pork leg of an arm to use and put it back. Don't be so bloody lazy and rude. Honestly, people are not born on this earth to pick up after you. What was I talking about? Got to be eaten dead tonight. It's four o'clock in the morning. I shouldn't be this passionate. <laughs> and that's why people don't fucking like you. It's nothing to do with the fact that you're super morbidly obese. It's due to the fact that you are an absolute nightmare of a woman who does not stick to their own morals and principles. One rule for you, one rule for another. Oh, this is stupid. This is dumb. I can't watch this video because it's stupid and dumb. Anne Boleyn, you are an absolute cop out. You give up on your weight loss. You give up on yourself. You give up on this video because you can't face the reality and the truth. Wow, I didn't think I was going to get so heated, but I'm kind of glad I have. I might go for a run. Do you want to join me for a run, Abilene? Do you want to come for a run with me? There is another fat shaming um, thing and everyone thinks it's so fucking funny. whoop de doo Basil. You saw three fat jokes in the first 30 seconds. What do you want me to say? Did I want her to react to my video? No, I wasn't asking for it. I wasn't begging for it. I wanted her to watch my video in her own free time, her own spare time. I know she's got plenty of it because she just sits on her ass all day. I don't often get the chance to be this passionate because I don't often watch a video live for the first time where I can give my raw, this is so fucking raw guys, unfiltered opinion. The audacity to say that I only have views because of you, no. You're absolutely wrong. The only reason you have views is because you stuff your face on camera and you emotionally manipulate your audience. Let's get that fact right. If you think I was too harsh on Anne Boleyn, honestly, you're more than entitled to your wrong opinion. Unlike Anne Boleyn, you're not going to get blocked for saying what you think on this channel. Anne Boleyn, if you are watching this, thank you so much for giving me YouTube relevancy. What would my career be without you? Thanks to Becky for being a loyal fan and subscriber. And also, cheers, Amber, for saying I have nice teeth and editing. Those are the only things I really remember from this video. I tend to block out trauma. 
Um, yeah. So what do you guys want me to do? Oh, God. <laughs>